Welcome to the foot birthday player tier list. I'm not a pro. I'm not. I'm going to pretend I'm a pro. I'm a Div 2, I think I'm at the moment. I don't really play Div Rivals, but I finished Div 1 majority of the time. I get like 14 wins occasionally, 11 wins. I get between like... I, get, I get, always get 11. I struggle to get 14, basically. Like, this is my opinion on some of these players. The first one we've got is Uray, who we will actually go into his stats in-game. I mean, looking at the card... A solid centre back. You're not really gonna do much. I mean, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just a boring centre back. I mean, sure, it's got five stats, but it's got medium, medium work rates, which I don't really like. My defender, same Van Dyke though, but it's got good passing. Honestly, I think the best place to put this guy is just gonna be in the mid tier because he's not the best, but he's also not the worst. Next player is Sal. Again, looking at Sal. He is not the worst card I've ever seen. Like he's he's solid. Again, it's just like three stars given to be he's a good cheap card, but at this point in the game, no one's gonna use him. Like foot birthday this year compared to last year is awful. But again, it's just Do you know what actually? For Sal, I'm gonna be a bit more harsh. A bit more harsh. And I am gonna put Sal in the bad tier purely because he's not He's not there's so many better options for midfielders. Unless you're like a budget squad, then he's not really gonna be you know the one it appears i haven't got oh, i have got him on there never mind chuka wazy i mean flare trade i'm not to trade these players i should have done that but 94 actually 91 balance good acceleration good sprint speed decent finishing shop house quite high it's nice i actually quite like this card five star weak foot as well and considering he's a budget card and he's 25k obviously he's a bit hard to link this year but I really do like that card. Like I, I'm gonna put that card in the good tier. Or do I put it in mid because there's better things? <sighs> I'm not gonna use him. That's the issue. But I think it's a good for the price. I'm gonna put it in good. I'm gonna put it in good for the price. Okay, I'm gonna rank both of them together because they're basically just the same thing, really. Uh, Koke is five star. This is the five star good means one. Obviously, one has other one has five star weak foot. I mean. It's just a solid card, to be honest. Is he? I mean, nice of his stamina is very good. He's got good shot power. Short pass is good. All the passing stats are very good. Dribbling stats are... Jilly is a bit low, but like... He's not really going to be... The pace is decent. I mean... It's crazy how that card isn't that good this year. When like previously, there's an 80 stat would be like the best pass in the game. But... We'll put Koke in mid. No, good. Good or mid. How much is he worth, actually? If the Koke is cheap, then I've got to consider his price into this. Because I asked him my check, he was like 100k. Now he is around 40k. Yeah, he's going in good tier. So in the price, he's going in the good tier. Next up is Jao Felix. I don't know how to rank this card, to be honest with you. Looking at his stats in game. Very good. 5 star skill means 5 star weak, but very good. But. Shot power is not as high as I want to be for a striker with low finishing as well. 85 86 for like is it's good, don't get me wrong. Stamina is a bit low for my liking. I like, have a lot of stamina. Dribbling's good. I mean, this card's all gonna pan the price. If it's like over a million, it's just a scam. But 1.2 million, I don't think that's worth it. Considering the price. If it's if we're going off just a card, it's a great card. But if we're going off the price as well. Do I put it in mid? Do I, am I tempted to put Jao Felix in mid? <sighs> I do not know. I am, you know. I'm going to put Jao Felix in mid. I think there's just better cards out there. Like how I ran. And even like... Just, I can't even think of any other cards, but there's definitely... I mean, Dembele's um, winter wild card comes in for, for half the price. Obviously, it's Prem Portuguese, but like... Most people don't use Prem players anymore. The game's not like that anymore. The rest of it, it's just not. Darwin. I love Darwin. I love. Like, I actually love that Darwin. Is this card, however? I don't love. Good card. It'll be very good in game. Very automatic. Good finishing. Good shot power. Dribbling's a bit on the low side. But the physicality is insane. The pace is insane. Obviously, the high, high work rate is a bit weird for strikers. But five-star... Give me a five-star weak foot. 
obviously got that four star upgrade but for 900k which is what he's selling for 900 as someone who was really excited for this card to be him to be 900k and his one star watch is just only slightly worse obviously you don't have the skill moves and thingy but that card's like 80k this one's a hundred are you spending 10 times more the price or an extra bit of skill that's probably better. some people will but i just think this card i'm gonna put it in good because i think he's he's just the player in the game is just good Zinchenko, I'm not going to go into this guy's in-game stats because he is just absolute beast. I'm going to put Zinchenko in the great tier because he looks insane. Icons I'll do it at the end, but the front, he's a keeper. He's a cheap goalkeeper, five star, five star. I'll put him in good because I don't really know where else to rate him. Emerson, Emerson is one that I think is possibly the best for birthday. Like for the price and everything, like he's like 90k. Man, 90k for one of the best right backs in the game. And he feels good as well. This is the loan version. I actually have his actual version, but this is the loan version. He's so good. Five stars humans, obviously. Weak was a bit low, but he just feels so much better in game than the stats look. And he's like 80 to 90k. Now, this is going to be. I don't know. If I, this is the first player going into Elite. Yeah. Marquinhos, do we have to look at his in-game stats? It's Marquinhos, man. Like, he's got insane stats. I can tell you some of them right now. Do you know what, actually? I'll show you his stats, because now I'm looking at them. Is he even that good? Is he even that good? Five star week foot. And he's worth a lot, isn't he? Okay, he's worth a lot less than I thought. I thought it was like a million. 600k. 600k oh that's the wrong one 600k he can go into the great tier just because links and center back thomas muller is a card that i'm disappointed with when i backed him on, on release day i got really excited i thought it was gonna be amazing but he's just a bit mid like his stats his stats look mid but this card is honestly so good Consider how cheap he is if you can get him into your team i haven't used this one so i submitted the other one because i just he doesn't get my main team, but back to him again, because he seems really common. If you haven't got this guy, try him out and you'll see why he's going to be great here. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. What is this guy's stats? I haven't actually looked at his card at all, to be honest with you. And now I'm looking at it. Yeah, if I had five star skills, it'd be a lot better, but player trade outside the foot trade. That is such a good card. How much is he though? How much is Thiago Silva? One mil? 950. I mean, it's an elite card. It's an elite card. Like, I'm saying it myself right now. It's just an elite card. Like, what else can you do? That is purely an elite card. But he's going to go in elite. Probably. I think if you pack him, he's staying in your team for a long, long time. We now have the French centre back, the SBC. I think it's like 80, 100k. It's a good card, to be honest. I'm actually going to put it in good, just straight up. Pedri is going to the bad. No, mm. no it has to go bad to it. It's so expensive. It's so expensive for what you actually get. Like, it's crazy expensive. Like, it's like 400k, 300k SBC. When is the team in the money? Is only one stat let worse, has the five star skill moves, and it's like 100k. It's, it's such a bad. A Wobi, cool idea, being the Akotcha, same stats as Walker Akotcha, but he's only going to go in good. If you had a five star skill moves, he would go in great, but I'm going to put him in good because I'm yet to. I'm, I'm, honest with you, I'm yet to try him out. Lingard, bad. Bad. This card's mid, to be honest. I quite like that card. I don't know why that card is not it's gonna do something so good in game. Five star skill me six foot four. Like that's why he's going to mid. I haven't got him yet, but once I've got him up, Alison Drini. Alison Drini, you know. God, that's a tough card. Cause realistically, it's a good super sub, and that's all he is. So I think he has he's free, but he's hard to get. I'm gonna put him in mid just because the objective is really long icons Rui Costa. i love Rui Costa. like a lot of people it's probably everyone's first icon 
Rui Costa can go into the... Honestly, I'm going to put him in the great tier. Am I? Yeah, I, I think he's really good. Jarzinho is elite, but for the price, he's endgame elite. Coleman? Can he... Let me, I, need, I need to get Coleman up. Can he, if he can play CDM, then he's definitely worth it. Let's pull up Coleman right now. Obviously, we'll look at Jardinho. I don't say anything more. Outside the foot, flair, five star, five star. Just he's an end game card. He's going to be end game price. Komen. Let's look at Komen's stats, shall we? Five star weak foot, three star skill, high medium. He don't want to play. He can't play CDM though. His middle could. I like that card, but it can't play. Oh, do I like that card? How much is he on the market? Wait, can I not search for his birthday icon? Yeah. 400k? This might sound harsh, but I'm putting that, I'm putting that card in uh, mid-tier. Because he can't play CDM or anything. Best. George Best. Looks great. And he's, he's not cheap, and I thought he was going to be Mathias. is obviously going to be elite. We don't have to talk about Mathias because he's the best card in the game. Cantona. I've actually used, and for his price, I'm going to put him in good. He's an elite, but for his price, he's just a bit too slow on the ball. Ian Rush. I'll be making a video on Ian Rush soon, so. But looking at his card, I could just think he's going to be bad, so I'm going to put him in bad. But I, I, I can't trust that opinion because I haven't used him yet. This Alan Shearer. People were saying that's good, and I'm going to trust the Panthers, but I also, I don't know if I can because the card, no one's got it yet. To be unfair to rank him, but going on stats alone, it looks like a a mid card. Well, but the token's a bit crap, this thing. Do you know what? It's a good card for the token you get. If you need a striker, it could be worth it. But that is the completed. There's a few players that are missing on there, like the new SCs that came out. For example, there is no Antonio. I think mean, that's the only one, actually. Antonio and... No, Antonio is the only one. Antonio... Um... Night one pace, Azum shooting, eight eight dribbling, five star weak foot, very solid card. Probably put it in the the good tier. I have just realised that the entire tier list is now gone because I moved up. So if I just scroll up a bit, is it there now? No, scroll up a bit more. There is the final tier list. I mean, I'm I'm happy with that one. I think that's a good tier list. It's all pixel. Sorry about that. I didn't realise it just now. But I think yeah, I at most of the top I'm happy with was 80k, the best right back in the game. Zinchenko looks insane. A lot of these are price based as well, bear that in mind. But yeah, that's my tier list. I mean, if, if, then I'll do team two tier list uh, next week. But that's team one. Not bad, not bad. Nice.